guys CapCut is being a bitch to me it's basically a video editor on my phone that i have that i use to edit videos on because it's one of the best video editors on phones i think i think that it's one of the best video editors i've tried a bunch in the past you know in short i've tried you cut i've tried um filmora goes video editor as well i think i may have tried key master and i've tried a uh, power director i've tried a couple i've tried even viva video for some sort of video editing be it like fun videos or creative videos and stuff and um, i have and i think capcut is one of the best and outshines every one of those i used capcut in 2021 when it was uh, called via maker and you could only edit 15 minutes of footage and that was it max and then it changed their name to CapCut and now they are the app that I know today and I believe I started using it in 2021 but the thing is today I got some sort of security notice when I pressed the effects option and it wasn't going off and every time I would press the effects option or the filter option in CapCut it was not going off it was telling me security notice uh, this uh, this uh, version of CapCut is not secure download the latest version blah 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 from the play store so I did that I downloaded it and um it still was not fixed so i have to so i now deleted CapCut, and now i'm trying another video editor that i used in the past but not properly so i don't really know how it exactly works it's called vn video editor but the thing is i still have CapCut on my computer i'm gonna use that for whenever i want to edit videos and i don't edit on my phone because i mostly edit on my phone I find it easier that way. I'll see if the video editor version on the computer is giving problems as well. Because the full version is being annoying. And I, and the thing is, even though I don't use filters and effects much, I still use them in my videos and mashups and stuff like that. And they are very important to me to when I edit. So that's why it's very saddening to see that this is happening. I cannot edit without them. Without using the CapCut effects, I'd have to make my own effects. And I don't really know how to make my own effects and stuff like that. You know, background pictures and stuff like that. I'm not really good at video editing and, you know, photo editing and stuff like that. That's why these effects already come, already that come with CapCut. And all the stuff that comes with CapCut really makes my editing easier. So now that I had to delete it, it was really sad. I've had it since 2021. I've used it when it was Via Maker changing to CapCut. So I was an OG CapCut user way from the start. So it's really sad to know that. Now I changed it and now I'm trying a new video editor. So stay tuned. Um, I'll try to edit the video on this new one and see how it works and try a bunch. So I have to see which one is actually good. So yeah, bye.